Good morning, amigos. Welcome back to my channel. This is video number eight in the Spain vlog series. By request, Mom Toms said that my backgrounds have been too busy. There have been too many different things in my background, so I tried to make it as simple as possible, Mom Toms, just for you. So I hope this helps. Um, I think I should have a formal background at some point, so maybe that'll be a goal for this year. But anyway, I look sick i'm allergenic as you can tell but here i am grinding making the video and i think it's gonna be great i'm excited to talk to you about jerez y cadiz and i'm so excited that i pronounced those right because i was getting the emphasis wrong all throughout the trip so jerez the emphasis is on, is on the second syllable cadiz the emphasis is on the first and if you're a spaniard the setas will be zetas so jerez y cadiz um Cadiz. <laughs> it's so hard. Anyway, um, this was an optional day trip we had during our trip. So some people chose to go, some people chose not to go. And I chose to go, even though at this point in the trip, I was sick and a lot of people were sick. We just had this cough that would not leave no matter what we tried. So I, there's not a lot of me talking actually while I'm in these places for that reason like I was a coughing mess other than coughing I felt fine so I was like enjoying everything everything was great um but yeah whatever weird cough we all got I got it too so um this was a day trip from Seville to these two different cities so I feel like maybe the first city was like an hour and a half hour 45 away and then the next city was um maybe another half hour hour away from that I'm describing it poorly but you could look it up if you wanted to see it and here is we went to a winery but it wasn't like a traditional vineyard out in the countryside like it was more of like the processing plant and the storage for the wines um so anyway, you'll see it and I'll explain it when we go through it in video. I don't have a whole lot from Jerez because that's kind of all we went to do there. And then when we got to Cadiz, that is a like a port city, um, which is beautiful on the Atlantic Ocean. So that was very special. So diving into the video, let's go. Bienvenidos a Jerez. So in Jerez, as I mentioned, we were going to a winery, specifically the company Tio Pepe's Winery. And this is a very famous wine company in Spain. They're very well known. They have these signs along the highway, which are just like giant um, toros, and they represent the Tio Pepe company. So we got a really cool tour of the winery and learned about their sherry wines, which they're very famous for. If you ask me what I knew about Jerez prior to going to Jerez, all I know is that sherry comes from there. And that is true. <laughs> Um, and yeah, sherry is just a different process of making wine. There's like different components to it. I also don't drink alcohol at all. So I was literally just along to learn for this trip. And I definitely learned a lot. I don't think I've ever toured a vineyard or a winery before. So this was fun. Um, this was something I loved. These wine barrels have the names of the 12 apostles on them. So I filmed this for you guys. Our second stop in Jerez was the local Alcázar, which was Muslim in origin and then was captured by Christians during the Reconquista.
also these are ruins i think of another era bath if not i think it was the kitchen i apologize for not having specific details on this i was so sick <laughs> there's so much i don't remember um from this tour it was kind of a fast tour but anyway there were lots lots of ruins to see and i think there was something um special about the irrigation system or like the system they used to get water um for the baths i'm, I'm pretty sure this is a bath for this reason but you'll see when i'm outside there's like kind of water related stuff Our second destination of the day was Cadiz, which as I mentioned in the intro is a coastal city on the Atlantic and it was a big priority for me to be able to experience that while I was in Spain because I live on the other side of the Atlantic. So we started out our time in Cadiz with a group lunch, which I don't have any footage of, but after the lunch there was this beautiful park like across from the restaurant and I could have stayed here all day. That would have made me feliz como una lambriz as they say in Spanish, um, but I didn't stay all day. We went on a walking tour throughout the city and fun facts, it is said that the city of Cadiz looks like Cuba, I'm guessing specifically Havana. And um, so they film movies here um, when they need things to quote unquote take place in Cuba. This is a location that they'll consider or use. Um, and I thought this city was so beautiful. There was just something about it that out of all the cities we visited, this was one of my favorites visually to see. Um, such a pretty city and I would have loved to spend more time here. Ha ha ha!